Hello everyone, it's me, the Raw Local Maniac. I'm back again with another 8-Bit Wars. And as you can see, today I'll be playing the classic beat-em-up Double Dragon. And I think the company that made it is pronounced Taito, or Taito. I'm not too sure, maybe one of you guys can correct me on that. You guys always do anyway. But anyway, this is how the story begins. Those baddies there, kidnap Marion there. You can see our knickers there. Anyway, they take her off. Don't know what they're going to do to her, poor Marion. But that's one of our heroes, that's Billy Lee. He's one of the uh, martial art heroes of the game. And if you play this game in two player mode, you play his twin brother, Jimmy Lee, who, surprisingly enough, looks pretty much the same, apart from different hair colour, and he wears like, red trousers and a red waistcoat. But yeah, we're both as badass as each other. And the whole point of the game is you walk from left to right, and if you see someone, you beat the crap out of them. Now what I do like about this game is the vast range of moves. You've got like flying kicks, you've got kicks, you've got throws, you've got knees to the faces, you've got punches, you've got headbutts, you've got elbows. And you know, when I first played this game when I was about 11 years old, or maybe a little bit younger, I was really into my martial art films. And this was probably one of the first games to actually capture that sort of um, being able to kick the shit out of someone. I mean, it would have been lovely just to walk down the street and just beat the crap out of random people like this. You know, beat the crap out of baddies, but obviously I couldn't do it for the fact that I would have got arrested and um, I was only about 11 years old. But yeah, this game did make me feel like, um, like an action star. Now, the music is absolutely fantastic. It is superb. I think the music's aged well. I'm not too sure so much about the gameplay. The gameplay, um... Stayed a little bit, not too good actually. But the graphics still look pretty nice. I think the graphics have got a nice cartoony style and they're very memorable. But I think, you know what, it's been converted to pretty much every machine known to mankind. Um, you had it on the handhelds, the consoles. Uh, unfortunately, the 8 bit computer versions that we'll be seeing in a bit were probably the worst. They, they weren't very good. As always, we'll start off the Spectrum, followed by the Amstrad, and then the good old Commodore 64. So, yep, that's how the 8 bit walls work. Uh, I'm just dead. This is where we come up against one of the bigger sort of baddies. Alrighty then. Now, this is a double dragon on the good old Specky. Now, Look at that. Doesn't that look like a bit of a mess? I don't know. They should have just kept the color to complete simple. Um, the sound effects are terrible. The background are rubbish. The sprites, uh, I suppose, are not too bad. It's easy enough to pull the moves, but I don't know. It just feels more random when you're hitting. I mean, I still got this game when it first came out. Um, I, I so badly wanted to play Double Dragon. I mean, every kid at that time, you know, used to love Double Dragon. So when it got converted to our beloved computers, we had to rush out and get it. And unfortunately, not going to lie to you, and all three versions were completely, totally crap. One version is slightly uh, better than the others. But um, look at that. Um, but I tell you what, though, back in the day. After spending, what, about five minutes loading this bloody game up, uh, me and my friend, before school, we decided to sort of give this game a go, and we pretty much finished it. At the time, we loved it, but from now, I can see truly what it is, a really awful conversion, and I'll tell you what, the Spectrum could have done a lot more. If you look at games like Target Renegade, which is a superb beat-em-up, you know, it completely eclipses this, and sort of like graphics, sound playability. But yeah, this is uh, what we got on this baby. A very below average beat em up with awful graphics and awful colouring. Hardly no sound effects. She looks like an Eskimo. Look at that. She looks like she's wearing one of those Eskimo uh, hat things. Don't really like the sound effects on this uh, version. They're absolutely terrible. Guys, just uh, quickly off subject, just to let you know, I have got a new and improved forum, uh, you should definitely check it out, it's got pictures, you can add videos, it's got a chat facility, so follow the link on YouTube, and then from there you'll find your way.
Alrighty then. Now, this is a little bit more like it. This is Double Dragon on the good old um, CPC. I know you said Spectrum. Now, like I said before in my previous videos, I have done like these games before. These 8 bit wars, but I'm redoing absolutely all of them. Now, look at that. At least this has got colour. The graphics look pretty nice. Actually, you know what? This isn't too bad. The graphics look pretty damn good. They look quite a lot more like their arcade counterpart. The screen area is a lot smaller. Um, and I suppose it does control that a little bit better than the Spectrum. Sound effects sound a little bit. It just feels, because of the way the graphics are done, a lot more like the arcade game, I suppose, the Spectrum, which was a complete total mess. Specky, unfortunately, just was difficult to see what you were doing. It's just I don't know what they were thinking when you done that color scheme. Now this may not have loads of frames of animation, but it's certainly a lot prettier than Specky. I give it that. It looks a lot more like like its arcade counterpart. And by no means is this like a great, superb arcade conversion. I mean, it's probably you know average. The Amtrak do a hell of a lot better. But you know, like I said, compared to the Specky, this uh, seems to play a little bit better. It feels a little more solid when you're actually beating someone. It's not, it doesn't feel quite as random. So yeah, I think back in the days when you know, like the Amstrad fans used to sort of like go, oh, our version's better. I can actually look back now and think, yeah, they, they probably were right. Ooh, just like the arcade that bit there. Anyway, like I was saying before, check out the form. There's a link to it on the uh, my YouTube account. Follow that to my main blog, and then down the side you'll see uh, local links. And yeah, it says one HMPS new forum. It's a great, fantastic new forum that I've created over the last week. So please check it out. Oh, something's gone on. Guys, hopefully this will record. All right. Unfortunately, this is a double dragon on the Commodore 64. Now, look at Billy Lee. He doesn't quite look like Billy Lee. He looks like he's been on um, some bed a little bit too long. He's it's gone wrong. The graphics look like um, those. What are those toys called? They're not Lego. They're the other ones. But anyway, they, they look like some sort of like toy figures. Oh my god, what the hell was that? Was that like a um, flying kick? That was kind of shit. Now, it, it does play kind of speedy, um, but it's awful. It's absolutely awful, the graphics. The graphics, look at that, that was shit. I'm not impressed with this. This does not look like Double Dragon. The graphics are very uh, plain. There's not much to them. Yeah, I think they're a bit better than the um, Specky version. Um, this version is bloody hard to actually connect. It doesn't feel like you're connecting when you're uh, hitting someone. Now, I do believe there are two versions of Double Dragon on the Commodore 64. One that came out a little bit later, one that was slightly better, but not much better. Oh, we got kicked to the face there. Now, completely off topic, by the way, before I do uh, progress with the 8 bit wars, um, there is someone did start doing a remake of um, Double Dragon on the Spectrum, which did look a lot better. I will try and link that video. I don't know who did that video or who was making that game, but I really hope that one day they do actually finish it because it does look pretty damn good. Now, this is a piss poor uh, conversion of Double Dragon. Some of the locations look somewhat similar, but the playability is not there. Double dragging, what sort of made it appealing was two player beat em up, it was easy to control, you felt like you were in control of the fight, and here it's just like a question of just hoping that you'll hit, even though you're tapping away on the fire button, your moves don't seem to be connecting, and there's not that many um, enemy sprites. So, guys, I'll tell you what, I think I'll choose my winner. The winner, I think, is not the Specky, awful graphics. Horrible sound. It's not going to be this Commodore 64 version. It's the Amstrad. Thanks very much, guys. I shall see you with some more 8-bit walls and a few other surprising videos. Goodbye.